Hi guys, and welcome back to the series, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, written and narrated by Stacey Holt. As always, if you like to show your support for the series, you can like, subscribe, and comment. Now, chapter five, admitting. Chloe, have you seen Marinette? Adrian asked. Marinette? Chloe said through the tears. Why would I care about her? Because you started all of this, Chloe, Adrian frowned. Chloe frowned and nodded. I'm sorry, a lot of stuff is going on at home right now. I guess I might have taken that out on her, Chloe confessed. Chloe, you can always talk to us. We're your friends, Adrian smiled. He hugged her. Chloe sniffled and hugged him back, feeling a little better. Thanks, Adrikins. Adrian let her go and looked down at her. I do have something to tell you, though, that might hurt your feelings. And I don't want you to get akumatized, but I want to tell you as your friend. I never want to hurt you, and I only did this because I was forced to, but my father made me date you. Adrian explained. You were forced to date me? Chloe said, almost fighting back crying again. Whoa, 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 hold on, Chloe. I like you, I do. I just, I think I fell in love with someone else first, Adrian said, trying to sound as sincere as possible. It's all right, Adrian. I understand. You can't always have what you want. I grew up with you and Felix. You were like my brothers. I will always love both of you, Chloe smiled. Thanks for understanding, Chloe. Adrian smiled. Chloe watched as Adrian walked away, but broke down as he disappeared behind a wall, falling to her knees in tears. Adrian pulled out his phone and texted Alia and Nina. Hey, will you and Alia go talk to Chloe? She was dealing with a lot at home, and I went to talk to her. I think she's going to cry a lot. I think I just made her cry. Adrian texted. Dude, what did you do? Also, sure, we will. Nino texted back. Long story, but thanks. I owe you one. Adrian texted back. Good. Maybe that will help Chloe feel better. And have them be friends again while he finds Marinette. If Marinette was crying the night before about the one she loves loving someone else, was she talking about him loving Chloe? Or was she talking about someone else? This was so confusing. It wasn't like he could outright ask her, because she confessed that to him as Cat Noir. Ugh, where could she have gone? How big was this school? Wait, girl's bathroom. How dumb could he be? He makes his way into the girl's bathroom, but sees a black butterfly flying into it. Oh no, Marinette. No, not her, not Marinette, anyone but her. Without thinking, he rushes inside and slams the bathroom door open and hears a girl's voice. Yes, Hawk Moth, Marinette says in a deep voice. Thank you so much for watching. The next chapter will be out soon. If you haven't already, you can go check out my other two series called Thunderstorms and Melting, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!